you. How many of us here really, really love maths? <laughs> Ten out. Great, great. How many of us don't love maths at all? Okay. Either way, all of you are in love presentation. Okay. India has a rich cultural heritage. It has given to the world concepts such as yoga, Ayurveda, Vastu, spicy chicken tikka, and Vedic maths. Vedic maths is the world's fastest many calculation system. And through Vedic maths, you can actually do sums like 98 times 97 in split seconds. Vedic maths was founded by Tirthaji Maharaja in the early 20th century. And he wrote a book which got very, very popular called Vedic Maths. So, without further ado, I'm going to take you to a journey for the next five minutes involving numbers. Okay? So, we're going to do multiplication by 11. Okay. We have this number 33. 32 times 11. Here's what we do we split 3, we split 2 to the right, and there's a space between. We add 3 plus 2. That gives us 5, so the answer becomes 3. Let's move on. Try this sum. 45 times 11, all of you. 4 times 5, it is. And 75 times 11. It will be 7, 1, 2, 5. And what happens? 1 gets carried over and it becomes 825. And this is the reason as to why it actually works. I'm going to share with you a method called the base method. It is used to multiply numbers close to the power of 10, 100, and 1000. So we're going to do a basic sum. We're going to le learn a foundation, build a foundation. 8 and 7 give all of the answer. It is 56. I'm going to just teach a new method to do this. And then we'll see how our speed improves. We got 8 and 7. Okay, tell me, is 8 more than 10, less than 10? Less than 10 by how much? So we got minus 2. And 7 is less than 10 by how much? We got minus 3. So the first rule we're going to apply here is we're going to cross subtract like this. So 7 minus 2 gives us? That's the first part of the answer. And we're going to multiply vertically like this. So 3 times 2 gives us 6. So that's our answer. Extending this to 99 times 97. Okay, 99 and 97 are both close to 100. Let's know. Is 99 more than 100, less than 100? Less by how much? 1. So you're going to write minus 0, 1. And 97, is it more or less? Less by how much? 3. So you're going to have minus 0, 3. So we're going to cross subtract like this, like the earlier one. So what do you think is the first part of the answer? 99. Come on guys. People on the back there. 96. And we're going to multiply vertically. 0, 3 times 0, 1. That gives us 0, 3. So your answer becomes 96, 0, 3. Let's extend that to this problem. Come on, try and give me an answer. What do you have on the right hand side? Minus 2 and minus 3, and then cross subtract. So, what's the first part? 95, 0, 6. Exactly. Beautiful. Okay. So, we can extend this further to a little daunting looking sum right here 996 times 997. What do you think it will be? Minus 0, 0, 4. Exactly. Minus 0, 0, 3, it's going to cross subtract and that will give you exactly perfect. So now we're going to do some mental squaring. Okay, look at the board. We have 99. Try to figure it out in your mind what is going to be there in on the right hand side. It will be minus 0, 1, and that you want to subtract from 99, right? Yes, no? That will give you 98. And the next part, what will that give you? 
Exactly. So your answer becomes 9801. 98 squared. Faith, come on, people at the back, jump up. Give me an answer. Come on. 98 squared. What do you think are the right would be? It will be 9604. So I'm going to give you five minutes and you're going to do 97 squared mentally. Five seconds of this, try it mentally. Okay, what do you think will be, be on the right hand side? Exactly, so it will be minus 03. So you will deduct back from 97 and that will give you 94. And 03 is the excess. So you're going to square that. How much would that be? 09. Okay, what's 96 squared? 92. 96. 96. Exactly. Come on, all of you people. 95 squared. There will be 5 on the right hand side. And 9025. Okay, we have 94 squared. So there's a 6 on the other side. 88. Exactly. Come on. 8836 and the last one. Okay, let's do one. It will be 8649. Okay, let's move on. About the base. We are now moving on to a second part in the base method, which is called about the base. 40 times 12. We apply the same rules here, which we just learned is negative. Just that 40 is more than 10. So what do we have here on the right hand side? Plus 4 and plus 2. So we're going to add plus wise like this. So 12 plus 4 gives us 16 and minus 4 times 2 gives us 8. So the answer becomes 168. In this sum, 101 squared, figure it out and do it mentally. Okay, we're going to spell answers right now. On the right hand side, there will be what? Plus 0, 1. And we're going to add that. So it's going to be 1, 0, 2, 0, 1. Let's see the next sum. We're going to do mental squaring now. 1, 0, 2 squared. The same rule, same principles apply. Do it mentally. 1, 0, 2 squared. Come on, let's do it together. On the right hand side, there is plus 0, 2, right? Yes, no. And then we are going to add that. How much is that? 1, 0, 4, and then 0, 4. So we are going to say it like this. 1, 0, 4, 0, 4. Okay, we are going to say it in a rhythm. 1, 0, 4, 0, 4. Okay, so here we got the next sum, which is 1, 0, 3 squared. Can you give me an answer, please? Okay, this is how we are going to say it. Okay, that's not too much. I want a little more louder the next time. Okay, a little more louder, please. Show me some love, people. 104 square. Okay, what do you think the answer is? Okay, 10816. 105 square. What do you think it will be? Okay, okay. I think it's a little loud this time. Let's do it together, okay? Plus 5 to on the right hand side. So you're going to add plus 5 to 105. That would give us what? 1 and 0. And 5 squared. That's going to give us what? 25. 25. So it's 1 and 0 to 5. Not too difficult, is it? Okay. 106 squared. Okay. Let's say it in the rhythm. 1, 2, 3, 6. Okay. 107 squared. Okay, 11449, 108 square piece. Thank you, 11664. This is a proof as to why it actually works. This is not a trick, this is an algebraical method that proves it. Okay, so I'm going to show you a last trick, which is a general multiplication of vertically and crosswise. It's a sutra by which you can actually apply and do any number with any number multiplication. Say we have 31 times 12. So we're going to apply a technique called vertically and crosswise. So that's vertically. 
That's cross size vertically. So you're going to multiply two times one. That gives us two. And then you're going to do cross wise like this. You're going to cross wise and add. So two times three gives us six. And one times one is one. Six plus one gives us seven. One times three gives us three. That's our answer. Okay. Let's see this sum. 12 times 34. This, this sum would have a carryover. So we're going to do 4 times 2. That gives us 8. Vertically. Right. And 4 times 1 gives us 4. And 3 times 2 is 6. 4 plus 6 gives us 10. So we're going to add a 0 and put 1 on the carryover. Right? And 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1. So that's our answer. That is the principle behind it as to why it actually works. So the question, ladies and gentlemen, becomes why Vedic maths? Why the world needs to know an ancient system which is 5,000 years old called Vedic maths? What is the rational behind it? I'm going to share some statistics which may surprise you. In the UK, almost half of UK adults do not have math skills of an 11 year old. That's 17 million adults in the UK alone. 46.3% people in South Africa pass the matriculate examinations. So I was in South Africa presenting a program there. I asked somebody, how much is 6 times 6? This is a rational which he showed me. He drew 6 circles, again 6 circles, he completed 36 circles and gave me the wrong answer of 34. <laughs> so, so that's what maths does. Okay. In Australia, you have the chief scientists say that you have to be radical chemical changes because maths is generally considered dull and boring. Okay, I'm going to give you this statistic. 75.2% of children can't do division. Can name in which country? Any guesses? It's India. This is by the one report that just came out that 75 percent of all children cannot do division. 73.7 percent of children in standard three cannot subtract. Again, India. Think about which country are we living in and a wide diversity of changes. People in the city can do maths. People outside cannot. You have schools, but you do not have mass teachers. Again, in India, India ranks 73 out of 74 countries in a study of math, science, and reading. India ranks very below. I want to give you a little bit about my background. I'm a graduate in commerce from Calcutta University, and I stumbled upon this book when I was studying for my MBA entrance examination. I could not complete my MBA because of some financial constraints at home. And that was when I was stuck. Imagine, you are a 21 year old, you can have admission into a college, but you cannot pursue it because of financial constraints. So what do you do? So I did something which I call the big leap. I became an entrepreneur just after education of my completion of my commerce degree. I started Learning this concept of Vedic math because I learned about it and I was absolutely passionate about it and started teaching groups of children. And soon groups of children from 5 became 50 and slowly to 500. I learned from the masters, the founder of Vedic mathematics, who is the Sankracharya of Puri and also Shakun Pradi. Started propagating Vedic mathematics and right now we have a, I mean, we have presence in over 9 countries. No journey is complete without challenges. Nobody ever knew about Vedic Maths before. When you talk to people, they say, we do not know Vedic Maths, and why should we apply it in the school itself? So that was one of the first challenges which I faced. And now the second challenges which I faced was this. Somebody in the far west had already copyrighted Vedic Maths. Think about it. Something which is very Indian, how can somebody just copyright it? That was a setback to us because that meant that if anybody would have to do calculations, the Vedic maths way would have to pay royalty 
to the person who registered the copyright. So that was very, very upsetting. And after a little bit of discussions and legal battles, we filed for copyright three years ago. We've been traveling and we've been working with various governments to introduce this in the curriculum. So far right now, as of 2013, nine other schools in South Africa practice Vedic maths. It is being practiced in the Middle East, Qatar, Oman, Doha. We have the first European country, Romania, to have a Vedic maths chapter. It's been there in Ghana as well. And also, we plan to open some chapter in Southeast Asia. So, so, so I want to share some things with you as to how you feel right now. Let me show you something here. Right now, in India and the world, students feel something like this when it comes to maths. Like a clay bird. Shy, timid, and scared. With Vedic maths, you can mobilize mathematics. Mathematics becomes fun and very, very engaging. Vedic maths Vedic maths is for the world. And Vedic maths is basically will set you free in the magical world of mathematics. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the influence of change on power. 